What's up, my friend? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have something brand new from Toolkit RC, and uh, I have to tell you, it looks like something that escaped from the public library in the 1980s. Um, and I say that because it reminds me of something that would have been constructed and made in the 1980s, uh, built to last. It comes to mind when I look at it. It reminds me of one of those old school record players uh, with a big handle or whatever. It was all in one compact unit thing or whatever. Um, it does appear to be very well made. Um, and it is industrial, what looks like industrial quality. So it's sitting next to my most used charger this year so far. This is the Q6AC. I love this one because it does have four ports on it and it has a little switchable switch on the side for XT60 and XT30. So it's very, very handy for me on the bench. Now, I thought that this was a giant charger. Uh, it also has wireless charging for your phone on the top of it, uh, which I usually don't have my iPhone sitting here charging when I'm charging LiPo batteries. It's just not a good idea. If you have a battery catch on fire and you burn your phone up. Uh, but aside from that gimmick on top of here, this one makes this one look like a mini charger in comparison. So I have lugged this one everywhere. I've had it in my car. I've taken it to the field. I've run it off of uh, external power banks and things like that. I could also run this one off an external power bank if I want. Uh, it does come with a huge, really thick industrial sized wire that you can AC play it, wire that you can plug into the wall. And it has a mega fan in the back of it. Very, very large. Uh, and also a physical power switch which is just below where the power cable is. Now check this out. It loads up toolkit RC screen, same deal here. We do have two ports on this one and it will charge 1200 watt um, and 30 amp per channel. So that's from one to eight S and it comes with an XT90 style connector here. So you will have to have it converted down to an XT60 if you choose to run this charger. Now the dimensions of it across the front is about five and a half inches. It is about five inches tall. And from the side, it's about 11 and a half inches long. Now I just happen to have a 6S 5000 series pack sitting here uh, that we can use to set up for the charger. Now you can see that there's an LED across the front here. Uh, I do have a blue status on the left hand side and it's not lit up on the right hand side. Now you also have two separate physical control switches for each individual channel. So um, there's no switching back and forth between these. And um, very interesting that they decided to do this this way because they probably could have saved some real estate, made the screen a little bigger maybe, um, but it looks like a very similar size screen to even some of the smaller chargers that they make. So that's interesting to me. Now it does have the vo current voltage up here at the very top, 23.97. I've got my watt hours. I have the current temperature. The fan uh, is not active currently. I am charging a LiPo. The charge state, two amp. We have a start button. We have a physical battery icon here with 0%, 24.4 volt here uh, for actually for the battery itself. It is in red. And currently we're not putting any amps into the battery. Now to start this process, we're gonna press the middle button here. It says uh, E on it. So it's gonna let me select whether I wanna change it from LiPo, LIHV, and that's it. That's all you have on this channel. So we're gonna leave it on LiPo. Now we're gonna to try to go to the next thing over, which is charge. You can change the charge state to stop charge, discharge, and charge, and that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna go down to the next one. We could charge this at two amp, uh, we can go all the way up. Let's see how high we can make it. All the way up to, it should be 30 amp. And that would be a lot of amps to charge down to a 5,000 pack. So we're not gonna do that, but it will let me set it to 30 amp. So we're gonna bring this way down. Now technically, you know, I could charge this one at five amp. It would be absolutely fine if you wanna do a quick charge. But nominally, I would probably charge at about 2 to 2.5 amp for uh, my 5,000 packs. And they have lasted me 15 years doing that. So if you slow charge things, trickle charge is a little bit better for the longevity. 
Press that again, highlights back to green. Now I can go over to start. I can press that middle button again, charge to 25.20 uh, volt, and it's not the touch screen. So I'm gonna press here, now we're started. So we can see that we're, right now it's gonna bring us up to the current percentage. We'll see how close to charge we are on this battery. This So this battery's been sitting in storage mode, um, but it is still at 91%. So once it gets to 100, it will be done. Now, if we click that bottom button right there, that brings us into the screen where we can look at individual cell status, uh, how it's balancing things out right there. We can go again. We can go again get a little more information there. So a very simple operating type of LiPo charger. And so if we wanted to put a battery on this side, we just do the same thing, plug in another one over here. You can also use a converter over to XT60. You could use a breakout board or a parallel board and you could charge up to six batteries at once on each individual side. Uh, they do have those types of boards available. I try to find some links and put them in the video description down below for you. Uh, but you can see we have a red LED here on this left hand side and no LED lit up over here on that side. Um, but it's kind of interesting because it simplifies everything about this entire charger. Um, way more simple to operate this one, even though it will do massively more than my Q6 over here. Um, the Q6 will do 15 amp. So just to give you some idea, 15 amp at 250 watt times four uh, and one to six S batteries on this one. So I, I do like a quad charger port um, for day-to-day -day use. This is more convenient for me. So if I had to choose between the two of these, this would still be my daily charger, uh, the Q6A. It just makes more sense for charging XT30s and all that stuff. But if you have a shop where you're doing big builds or if you're doing larger UAV uh, fixed wing, things like that, this will probably be something that your shop could really use uh, as far as charging six to eight S batteries. So yeah, if you're doing those big giant 8S 22,000 milliamp batteries, something huge, this would be a more industrial option uh, for you because it does also have a built-in power supply. And, and some of the guys that are new to FPV, you guys probably don't even realize, but say 20 years ago, a lot of the, you can still get these power supplies separately from the LiPo charger itself. But this is kind of, you know, again, like 1980s library quality, all in one kind of industrial built battery charger from uh, Toolkit RC, which for, for me is the first that I've seen from them aside from the smaller stuff they have been known for making a lot of these little tiny portable chargers very cheap ones and this one comes in around 250 dollars so it's not cheaper but it's not as expensive as other uh, chargers this size so something you could take you know in consideration is that the size of this one the 1200 watt max 30 amp on both sides here uh, up to 8s for 250 bucks it's pretty good uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to keep using this one for my big boy batteries uh, and maybe something from like my X-Class style quads. But I appreciate you for watching again, guys. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you will and make a comment and get yourself entered to win that 5-inch FPV drone coming up on December 15th. We're giving that away on the channel. Guys, take care. I'll see you on the next one.